Welcome everybody back to Boots in Motion, guys. And today we are going to do a oil change on my 260. Also, we're gonna get some alignment done because we had some worn out tires in the past. So uh, it shouldn't take too long, but get the alignment done and uh, let's go. All right, so they're gonna put this on the alignment machine and we're gonna use a fork eye alignment, uh, alignment machine. And then um, we're gonna just make sure that the toe and camber isn't set off, but I had some worn out tires on this car. I just wanna make sure it's a-okay. All right, guys, so we have an oil drive oil filter and oil we're gonna be changing here. So this is a door so you can get to the filter itself and train it out. So we're gonna stop doing that. We're gonna make this quick, easy, very simple, knock it out. All right, this oil probably hasn't been changed in about 8,000 miles. Nice and black like it usually is. All right, all right, so we changed out the oil filter. I went with a GTR oil filter. It's a little bit taller. It's not wider, but it's a little bit taller. Um, he's cleaning it up. Now we're gonna go bring the car down and we're gonna fill it with oil, start it, and just let it circulate itself to make sure everything's good. But, yeah, that's it, that's it. If you guys don't already know, this is also Stretch's Hellcat swapped um, SRT Cherokee. So that means they did the drivetrain out of a track hawk and put it in his regular SRT Cherokee. It's dope. I really wish he would have got some content on this, but I, but yeah, I definitely really like this color, man, too. Whew. And believe this is a liquid wrap. Yes, this is liquid, not a regular wrap. This is literally spray on liquid. Love it, love it, brother. Nobody ever wants to know <laughs> where all the Q50s and Q60s goes. I'm gonna show you guys right now. He got a graveyard back here of Yaga's exhaust. Shout out to all the Q50, Q60 game that came out here and supported all out. But Jesus, a lot of you guys get your exhaust done. A lot, all these G35, G37 mufflers and everything like that. Pretty cool, pretty dope. All right, guys, so we're going to do the alignment on the Q60 now, and he's going to do a few different things. But before he gets to it, let me just let you guys know. Number one, my car is equipped with electronic steering, and I also have um, uh, intelligent cruise control. So everything would actually have to be synced up a specific way. These machines are, can be able to give you the alignment on a uh, electronic steer um, Q50, Q60. So you don't have to always go back to the dealer. Majority of the firmware that's updated in these computer systems are just the same thing that's at the dealer. Same companies and everything like that. So he's just going to sync it all up and we're going to get this alignment done. So now that he has the clamps on each wheel, they have sensors in it. And what they're going to do is communicate these two sensors to those. And this is how you start to set up the alignment process. He's also um, putting a uh, bar in there to adjust the steering wheel to make sure that it stays within the specific degree and it doesn't move. All right, so guys, uh, pretty much my car is at stock suspension right now. Um, this is DDS suspension, stock high, stock springs not lowered. And you can see from factory, the camber is already negative 1.1, 1.2. So a lot of cars come from factory with negative camber already. And when you lower it, you go to two degrees, 2.5 degrees. Um, he's gonna try his best to adjust some of the toe right here. You see these are out of red. That's why my tires were getting eaten up. That's why I flipped them. The back one's not really too bad, but he's gonna make some a few corrections here just to see to just help with it. Huh? This just, one? Yeah, just gonna just gonna adjust that toe over right here. Yeah, should be good. yeah, just gonna bang that one. But mainly for the front too, he's gonna take care of that, and we're gonna see how it turns out. So what he's trying to do is bring that arrow back into the middle where it's green area, and you really can't do much about the camber because it's on stock arms, but you know. Once you move the camera, you also affect the toe too, so you have to work with both. Alright, now he's going to do the toe for the front. This is the driver's side, this is the passenger side. See how the toe is all the way over here? That means that you're towing out. Whenever, let's say you're looking straight down the road. Whenever your wheel is pointed out towards the outside of the body of the car, that's toe out and it's toe in. Same thing for here, toe out and toe out. This one isn't as bad, but this one's really, really bad. So he's gonna correct that and push it back into that green area here. Now the wheel's gonna go straight down the road rather than point it outwards, which eats up the inner shoulder of your tires, which happened to me. That's why this part is 
smooth like the way it is. But I flipped the tire to the other side just so I can get some more time out of the tire until I decide if I'm going to go with um, any aftermarket wheels. Okay, now he's moving it more in and we're more in the green that gallery. Remember, you're not going to be perfect on that little black dot. Like this one is perfect on there. It depends on how the car modulates and it moves up and down like this. So, but you, it's best to get it in that same small little valley right there and then you're going to be good. So now that you guys know, from factory, the car is right around 1.5 to 1.7 negative camber in the rear and in the front right around that 1.1, 1.2 negative camber. So most cars from factory actually come with some kind of negative camber. So this is why when you guys lower the car, the tire or wheel will start tucking inside because it already comes with, already comes with negative camber. So you guys always want to know, knowing that that's gonna be my specs, right? So right now, the way the car sits, it's about 27, 27 and a half in the front. And let's go to the rear. Let's show you guys, because you guys, when you drop the car, you always want to know how much you're actually dropping the car. And here's the rear end. The rear end is right around a little bit higher. So the front actually sits a little bit lower than the rear. All right, so now, Alignment's done, oil change is done. If you watched the other video, the heat exchanger got done too. Now I'm gonna go drive the car, make sure it's good, make sure the fluid's all right, and this is gonna pretty much be the close out to the video. All right, I'm gonna go drive it, Let's make sure it's good. All right guys, so took the car from the drive, Alignment feels a little actually a lot better than it was before. So the toe, the toe was definitely off of the car um, Also on top of that oil change done too. check mark <laughs> did Everything relatively quick. I was only at the shop for about two hours with getting all the work done from the heat exchanger uh, oil the oil change and for alignment. So that's actually quick and great service I definitely love that but guys Everything's good to go. I'm super appreciative of All Out Motor Works in Long Island. So guys, check them out. I'll put the IG and, and Facebook below. A lot of the Infinity Q50 community have been supporting the shop for at least the last year, year and a half since I started uh, promoting the shop for them. And I'm just super thankful you guys uh, just coming over out here to get some really good work done. And then prices are really beating a lot of competitor prices around the area and even including inside of, uh, not inside, but in Brooklyn, New York, they can't even compare to the prices. So literally, you guys are saving stuff on a budget. Not saying it's cheap work, but it's good work. It's affordable work. Definitely love that. Appreciate it. If you guys want to contact me, contact me at boostmotion.g, Facebook, and boostmotion.gmail.com. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.